Hi, Clifford Goodland here. Today I'm going to tell you how to build some more backlinks with your blogs or your website, however you choose to do it. Today's subject will be how to hold a conversation in church. It's kind of like being on your blog. I have a question for anyone who has ever been to Sunday church services. What happens on Sunday mornings? The preacher preaches from his pulpit. Everyone sits and listens or pretends to listen. They're a captive audience held by guilt, duty, and pressure from a spouse, guilt over the kids, or even occasionally a real interest in the sermons. So they say, and so they stay. Too many people give into the temptations to mirror those Sunday sermons. They climb up on a soapbox and expound. Unless the soapbox is particularly off the wall one, the usual result is much the same as the Sunday services. Everybody shuffles out without saying a word. Or else they click away and close in the first couple of sentences. After all, your blog ain't church. They don't need to stay, and there's no guilt or duty holding them on your browser page. No spouses to look over their shoulder and condemn the action either. In fact, any shoulder-peeping spouses are more likely to say, Hey, good, now we can talk. Why is this then that so many bloggers sound off like a preacher, either duly or with faint condemnation? That's not what gets your posts, comments, and links. What gets them is invite and insight. Before you can lay down the law to people, you need to provide proof you have the right to do it. That's the number one question to ask yourself. When tempted to wax forward on why most marketers fail, or why clear skin is not reserved just for the young, it should be like holding a conversation with your buddy. Conversations give room for answers and interaction. On a blog, you have to do this by asking questions, especially ending with a question on your blog. Making sure those questions invite and excite an answer. Make it interesting. To do this, you need to keep the focus of your questions specific. What do you think is just not going to cut it? The average blog reader hastily decides a question of that magnitude and is going to take too long to answer and clicks away. Give your reader an incentive to answer. Make the question personal. Leave your topic open for debates by presenting two sides of the same coin. When you do that, human nature has readers evaluating which position they agree with. They've engaged with your post, and that's a huge step in the right direction. Most of all, however, care about your post. Care about what you're asking. Don't be afraid to let them see the real you. The one that, with the doubts, that doesn't mean pouring your heart out over about your lousy marriage or anything like that. You know, after all, when you care, your readers are more likely to care too. And that's the real secret of exciting, valuable, relevant, topic related links. I hope that was a good one, and I appreciate you watching my videos. Thank you.